Hello there. In view of the many arrivals of boat migrants in northern and southern Europe, both Great Britain and four Mediterranean countries want to take tougher action against illegal immigrants. While Italy, Greece, Malta and Cyprus called for EU measures against civilian sea cruises in a joint declaration, according to media reports, London is about to sign a contract with France. This is intended to prevent illegal crossings across the English Channel. According to official information, more than 40,000 people have crossed the, the uh, channel illegally this year. That's a record since the records began in 2018. This means that significantly more migrants came to the island illegally in 2022 than in 2021 as a whole. The Conservative government wants to deter the migrants with radical measures. For example, people who have entered the country illegally are to be flown out to Rwanda in East Africa, regardless of their asylum status and obviously regarding, regardless of the Geneva Convention on Refugees. The agreement with France should ensure that the numbers drop significantly. According to media reports, it provides for significantly more French border guards to be deployed at the, the English Channel coast. London pays tens of millions of euros to Paris for this, if they pay. British Secretary of State for Immigration Robert Jenrick claimed in an op-ed for the Sunday Telegraph newspaper that Britain offers migrants too many incentives and accused them of asylum shopping. Hotel Britain must end, is what Jenrick wrote, calling for simpler accommodation for people. Illegal immigrants are not entitled to luxury hotels, he wrote. Recently, the conditions in Manston, southeast England, had made headlines and make this ridiculous, what he wrote. Up to 4,000 migrants were accommodated in a reception camp designed for 1,600 people. There have been several cases of diphtheria and new arrivals are now being vaccinated. According to British information, almost a third of those who entered the country illegally came from Albania. Criminal Albanian gangs in France are responsible for this, according to London sources. Numerous Albanians demonstrated against discrimination in the British capital on Saturday. The hope of contention in the Mediterranean is currently the work of civilian sea rescuers who are on the lookout for refugees in need. In a joint statement, Italy, Greece, Cyprus and Malta have now criticized the fact that their ships um, act completely independently of the responsible state authorities. We reiterate our position that the modus operandi of these private ships is not in accordance with the spirit of the international legal framework for search and rescue operations, which should be respected. Italy's ultra-right Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni recently announced new measures against NGO ships. Each state must actually exercise its jurisdiction and control over the ships flying its flag. That's what the four countries demand. Brussels should take necessary steps to ensure that there is a discussion about the future of such operations, it said. Civilian organizations, including those from Germany here, have been deployed in the central Mediterranean for years. Recently, the Ocean Viking of the organization SOS Mediterranee with 234 migrants on board was turned away from Italy and sent on to France. Paris allowed the ship to enter Toulon, but was outraged about this. A diplomatic dispute devolved, developed between Paris and Rome then. Italy respects neither international law nor shipping law, said French Foreign Minister Catherine Colonna, and she told this to the newspaper Le Parisien. The ship was only recorded as an exception. There will be consequences if Italy sticks to this view, she said. Paris suspended a solidarity agreement under which Mediterranean migrants would be taken over from Italy and also increased its checks at the Italian-French border. So it was a shot in their own knee from, from Italy. We're sending that boat to France. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.